All right, so let's see if they dropped any dorks on us here. I want to see anti-personnel suppression. Yeah, comm relay. Uh, wow, we got a whole bunch of stuff in here. I like it. I like it. Some cobalt, some chlorine. Obviously, I'm going to be encumbered now. The difference between being prepared and carrying too much. To Venus? Have something for me? Wish she wouldn't just say to Venus every time, but she does. Uh, so Sarah already is carrying one weapon, but she's not really carrying much for me. So I'm going to switch to my inventory. And then we're going to give her all the extra shit I just picked up, I think. Although, yeah, it looks like this weapon, she can have that. Pretty much everything else, though. I think I'm going to give her this. Let her let her carry that weapon. It's fine. Um, and then I'm going to go over to uh, helmets. Yeah, we can just give her uh, basically the use of marine helmet. Eh. We can have that one, too, I guess. And then uh, ammo, aid, resources. Yeah, I think give her the comm relay because it's really heavy. And this magnet thing and maybe the nutrient tissue. I don't know. Like, we'll just give her all of it, I guess. And uh, all the cobalt. I suppose we just give her all the resources. It's fine. And then uh, is there anything else? I'm at 137 out of 165 now. That seems That seems okay. I'm not sure I need seven different weapons on me, but hey, you know, they're um, um, different situations, right? All right, that's good. Time to go? Well, I mean, it's possibly time to go, right? It's just a matter of uh, whether or not they just dropped reinforcements on us or not. I don't know, but the mech, this mech facility seems like it's heavily guarded, so I, there's got to be something here, right? They're not just going to, like hang around and heavily guard a facility that has nothing in it so surely we'll find something in here now that all the people are dead at least all the people outside are uh, i don't see anything really highlighting for me all that much let's just do a quick jump we'll cross this Some stuff down there transfer containers okay aware of the mech facility let's come down i guess we already have those containers but i don't see any way to interact with the transfer container so there's nothing in it no no nothing in it okay there's nothing to worry about there spacer punk is dead of course already took care of him so i'm gonna take his stuff uh secret outpost that's interesting we're gonna want that brown engineering outfit uh Maybe that helps me with something. I don't know. Specialized calibrated Grendel, AMP, secret outpost. Definitely going to want to have that. All right. Read the secret message slate, uh, secret outpost slate. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go down to miscellaneous. Uh, unless I thought it would be miscellaneous. Maybe it's notes, secret outpost right here. Loyal to your crew. I get it, but screw that. Beg, borrow, steal, kill to get to Denobola. Uh, one dash B. There's a secret outpost we're trying to crack. Once in a lifetime opportunity. You will regret it for the rest of your life if you don't get your ass over here. <sighs> All right. So at least uh, we've learned the location of a new outpost, which it looks like they are trying to take it as opposed to defending it. So they'll probably defend it after they take it, I suppose. But uh, a big score, they say. I'll have to take a look at that. We've already been up here. It doesn't look like there's anything there, so we'll just drop down again. Uh, and then there's a door here I want to get into. It's a novice pick. So we'll just get in there. Uh, so that one fits there. That's nice. This one also fits the extra. So we're already doing these two and that one. So now we need to get uh, these three, which I don't really have one that can do that. So uh, we could also use the one I'm currently using for this side we could do that for example and then we just have to pick these two here which uh no these three again mm. oh it'd be this one it'd be this one yep so we go one two three there and then this one would take care of that one plus these two so that these two are going to take care of my second ring which means these two are the first ring so I can do one kind of like that to take care of these ones, which means I need this one and this one. And then I just plot this in a way that does that. Indeed it does. So we go one 
and then two, and then three, and four. Nicely done. Nicely done, I know. Isn't it great? I learned how to do it. <laughs> All right, first aid kit is already taken. Oh my gosh, this is just the door into the facility. Ah, oh, well, at least I got some experience. I'm lock picking, I suppose. Did I need the lock picking experience? Yeah, pick 15 locks. That's what you need. Okay, good. In that case, then it wasn't a waste. Novice picks. It's a pick is a pick, right? It says pick 15 locks. It doesn't say pick, you know, 15 expert locks or something. So if I can just get it all on novice ones, I suppose that's fine. A little credit stick. Thank you very much. Some to go cups and brew. This is like, yeah, they're making coffee and everything, right? Yeah. Uh, we got some more ammunition. Don't mind if I do. Is this really it, though? Modified Maelstrom. Bunch of ammunition, right? Yeah, Digipick. Thank you. I think this is it. I'm, I'm a little bit... I'm, I'll be honest. I'm a little disappointed in this place. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to loot, but it's not anything... Like, I'm looking for, you know, give me a, an epic weapon or something. That's kind of what I was looking for. But I suppose the weapon I have, I picked it off a body. It was like a random drop. So I guess every engagement, there's a chance for that. Uh, this is an authentic manifold crafting supply. Thank you. All right. Definitely going to go down this weightlifting tree. <laughs> I'll be as fast as I can. What do I need to do in order to level that up now? Is that the same thing? It's a sprint for 2,500 meters while at 75% or more of your maximum load capacity. All right, so I'm I'm at that right now. So the, every bit of the, every bit that I sprint will add progress to that right now. So I guess I'll just keep working on that. And this, this looks like it. Yeah, everything's it. So cool, I guess. But I was hoping for maybe like a robot sort of thing. It's a me it's a mech facility or a mech factory. So I thought, hey, maybe we can. Yeah, get a secret outpost. I already have that, so it's just an extra one. Maybe I could have gotten that off of every, off of anybody. <laughs> oh, that lung damage. It's because I'm sitting outside in this hazardous weather is why. Look at all this ammunition. I'm going to take all of it. I'm going to take it all. And I'm just going to be outside, and that's fine. Shotgun shells, more credits, antimicrobial. It's good for making meds. Yep, we got more people here. I mean, again, it was a random Find drop. Useful. Boosted. All right. You know, I could take their suits too. I know they're heavy, but if I take their suits, I can sell them still, and we're I'm okay with that. People buy these suits. The game is just made that way. So, all right, we'll just go up. I think we'll just make our way back to the ship. We're not we're not parked very far away, so it should be pretty straightforward to get back there. Not like the last place where I had to. You know walk thousands of meters <laughs> over the course of two or three trips so let's grab some of the stuff there these just food food items and stuff i can maybe use for cooking uh although i, I need the cooking skill in order to do it so ah corrosive side star now that is a better weapon what is that that is that is cool. Exterminator, plus 30% damage against aliens. Also corrosive. Randomly deals corrosive damage and reduces the target's armor over six seconds. Very cool. Little pistol. I think that pistol is better than my modified Urban Eagle. Right? 39 physical. If I go over to this one here, it's only 12 physical. Uh, lighter short range 314 rounds 27 uh caliber so it uses this it uses uh bigger rounds that's why well i mean that gun's still worth like i can sell it i guess but <laughs> and there's my coffin uh let's just grab all the things i guess anything that we can potentially sell I'm gonna just loot them all shotguns yep definitely want to have all the all the loot, all the grenades. Oh, I thought I was done here. Well, if they did drop more, right? We talked about that. Potentially dropping reinforcements in. Did say that before. All 
All right. Well, I'm like way over encumbered right now, so this isn't. You're telling me that ship can take off like that and not burn them alive? That ship just takes off all that fire and they don't burn alive. Where's that fool? Where'd he go? Oh, freaking storm, dude. I can't see him. Where is he? He went this way. All right, it was a little hard to see him, but we did manage to pull that off. Okay, well, there's the reinforcements dealt with. Brought me even more loot to encumber myself with. More credits. Yep, lawgiver. Let's uh, take a look at what some of these things are. So lawgiver is, <laughs> lawgiver is a shotgun. It's a rifle. Okay, well. It says it's got some value. We'll grab it. It's fine. I mean, weapons in general, you can sell them. And I have, I know exactly who I'm going to sell it to already. I just have to get back to the, get back to, uh, Sidonia to do that. And, uh, I think that's everything. No, we didn't loot this guy. Take the weapon and then the space suit. We could take that too. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just take all of this stuff. I don't care. Again, we're going to sell it anyway, so. And we're not that far away from our ship. Uh, the ship is only right... It's right there, 140 meters away. It's nothing. No natural phenomenon there, too. Uh, I think... So we got everything over here. I'm sure there's a body out there somewhere that I didn't loot. But it's, it's probably not worth trying to track it down right now. So we'll take everything we have in our vicinity right now and then we'll go back to our ship after we grab all these awesome med packs look at this stash amp yeah all the grenades i like grenades over mines i could throw them farther and you know they'll guarantee blow up as opposed to just sitting on the ground and then on top of that usually in the situations where i use a grenade it would uh not blow me up at the same time right all right, so kind of used up everything. We are uh, good here, though. We're taking environmental damage because of we uh, used up all the protection. So we are now uh, here, and I can go like this. Now, the environmental damage, it doesn't allow me to completely... It says remove environmental damage in ships, outposts, and places you can, re you can relax and breathe safely. All right, so uh, it just it takes a while to just while I'm in my ship like I am to, to recover that. That makes sense. That's fine. Uh, okay, so I want to transfer. Uh, this ship is full. Never mind. I'm not transferring anything. We're just going to go. Uh, yeah, how encumbered am I? Pretty damn encumbered. But if I give some stuff to Sarah, then we can go and fast travel. I can use fast travel if I just give it all to Sarah. So um, go back to my inventory. Let's give her the space suits. These are pretty cool looking. Sometimes it's about the looks, but since this is a game I'm going to predominantly play in first person, I'm not going to see the suits very often, and so it kind of it does become more about the stats at that point, you know? Helmets. Uh, we can uh, keep the helmet, I suppose. Uh, I think that's kind of it. I mean, I could give you, like, this manifold thing. That doesn't make it to where I'm not encumbered anymore. I kind of need to not, you know, I need to be under my weight limit here. So... I'm going to give you instead, oh, the weapons, of course. One, two, Lawgiver, the Equinox, the Maelstrom, all these things. Yeah. Just give you all of these things, and that's enough. I'm good now. All right. I'm going to go back to Mars now. Oh, I'm already on Mars. I'm going to go back to Sidonia now, I mean, just with a simple fast travel. And I'm going to sell all this stuff, and then we'll continue exploring Mars.
I hope you don't mind. I've been labeling your items for historical purposes. Guy is crazy. Uh, I've been, uh, I sold everything, but I'm still encumbered. I, Sarah doesn't have much on her, but I'm still encumbered. So I, I'm trying to get rid of some of the resources and stuff. And like my ship inventory is almost full. So I'm, I've taken all the lead out of this ship, which was a lot. There's 109 units of lead here. And I'm going to give it to my fan. I'm going to give it to him. He can store, he can, he can hold all my lead. Okay. That's what your job is, buddy. You can hold all the beryllium too. And the chlor, you know what? You can hold all of these resources. <laughs> okay. Now I'm down to 92, which is much easier to deal with. And uh, we can go from there, I guess. So now Sarah doesn't have uh, a full inventory anymore. I don't have a completely full inventory anymore. And my ship has uh, 415 out of 450. And I put all the ship parts in here. So at least there's some room to, to grab things at this point, right? So this place here has really bad weather. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to uh, go into there anymore. Uh, I'm looking for where I could potentially see that ahead of time, right? And it says thin CO2, cold. It doesn't say anything about like hazardous air. It doesn't really say that here. Um, so I don't know, but I think I'm going to go down to this fracking station now and see what we can find there. All right, so we'll just exit the ship at the fracking station. There we go. And uh, I have a much more manageable inventory now. And I also have more ammunition. I went ahead and bought some more six and a half millimeter for this gun. Uh, I bought some more laser cartridges for my laser gun. And I could not find any ammunition, unfortunately, for my sniper rifle uh, because this sniper rifle takes pretty specific ammo type and despite having this many different ammo types I don't have enough it my sniper rifle takes nine by 39 millimeter here uh so I, I just gonna have to find some more of that uh but some of that nine by stuff okay so the fracking station should be right ahead no uh how about here natural okay so we got a lot of stuff to observe here that's pretty good. And it does look like my lung condition seems to have went away on its own. That's good. I was hoping that it would go away over time by being in safe environments. And it does appear that is the case. So that's good. All right. So there's some something over here. And then there's that structure there that we're going to go and investigate too. But this doesn't... This is like buildings and stuff, but there's no marker for it. So I'm curious to see if there's anything meaningful there. And I'm not really mining any resources unless I see iron. That's if I see iron or aluminum, I will always mine that. But other than other than that, I'm not doing anything right now. Um, when we get our first base set up, we're going to look for a location where we can get iron and aluminum on a constant basis, because those are the two most commonly and most heavily used resources in, uh, you know, crafting, you know, station parts and things like that. So we're going to be looking for that. But lead, I've got enough of it. <laughs> Just going to let my let my dude, my biggest fan, I'm going to let him hold all my lead. All right. So I know this is a little bit off of the path here, but I'm going to take a look at all these different. So the fracking station is actually that way. So this is just extra stuff that's near the fracking station. Turns out there's more to look at out here than expected. And uh, none of this stuff is gonna matter nothing stuff nothing matters there not seeing anything significant here uh this game actually now supports hdr is what it sounds like uh auto hdr triggered when i booted this up i am not playing in that because it's not consistent with the videos i've been making up to this point but if uh if it looks if it looks better i haven't looked at it yet but if it looks better i'm gonna start posting these in hdr because i've got the workflow for it already and it's not that much more burdensome to do so I'll just, uh, I mean, it was much more burdensome to set up the workflow for that, but now that it's already set up, I don't need to do it anymore. You know what I mean? So, uh, I will go over to this natural thing just to see if there's any aluminum or iron over there or any meaningful like resources that I don't have a lot of already. And, uh, then I'm going to hit the structures. If anything happens, I'll probably come bring you guys, bring you guys back at the structure. Cause this is probably just going to be one of those craters. Yeah. So there's, uh, uh, there's a reason to scan it basically. 
there. Meteor shower impact site. Cool. Uh, rock from significant cratering and scattered remains of meteorites converge from multiple overlapping impacts. Sweet. Well, at least now we saw it. I don't see any resources here to gather. It's just a stony meteorite, but it's just something to scan. That's all it is. There's no, there's nothing, nothing to keep over here. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, that's what it is. You know, it's cool. It's, uh, you know, we're surveying the planet. We're almost 100% done with Mars. 93%. It's pretty good. All right. You got a little badge there. That's nice. So we'll go over to the structure. An abandoned bionics lab. Oh, that is interesting. Of course, as we know, things are never really abandoned, are they? Not usually. See, there is some detection going on here. So somebody is here. I just don't know who. Oh, oh, my, oh my God, he's right there. All right. Uh, so I have something that could deal with that. I already got rid of the weapon that did this. Just kind of putting it out there um and i uh i had a suit so i apparently don't have that on me either i must have put it on the suit or i must have put it on the ship or something inventory but uh, i have a suit that will uh remove some damage taken by robotic enemies and i don't have that on me so we're not gonna be able to use that unfortunately but uh now i'm wishing i had kept it all right so we're gonna have to deal with this this punk i'm gonna use the energy weapon Bye. Abandoned bionics lab. Yeah. Laser cartridges. We'll take all the things. At least there's no bad weather here. Start losing oxygen for no damn reason. All right. So I'm not seeing. Yeah, we have some slight orange going on here. So that means there's an enemy nearby. At least we're just kind of being sneaky with it try to figure out where he is before he figures out where we are this time uh, no dice not yet abandoned maybe it's only robots I'd be fine with that if it's only robots Robots don't really throw grenades. At least not in my experience so far, anyway. And they're usually... I think they're pretty easy to deal with. I, I do wish, like I said, I, I kept that suit. So I could have negated some of the damage from them. But it's fine. Take your frags. Thank you much, sir. Looking through the window here. I didn't see anybody inside. Oh, there is one person right there in a chair. I think he's just sitting in the chair. Yeah. Okay, so there's there's somebody in there. Uh, we got a door up this ladder here. I could have swore there was at least one more enemy outside, but maybe that's just their the way it is. Hey, cred sticks. Cool. Playing cards, eh? All right. Uh, we got yeah we could take some of this stuff that's fine it has some use seven sevens more laser rounds and uh can uck double double ah that's probably a it's got to be a canadian thing can uck uh yeah fragmentation mines all sorts of good stuff all right i think we're gonna go inside now i've gotten pretty much everything i can I can see out here. I don't see anything on the roof up here. Well, hang on now. Maybe. No. Well, this is a crafting supply, so we'll take that. Anything that can be used for crafting, we are going to take it. And we are going to be doing quite a bit of crafting, I think. I'm not entirely sure how deep we'll get into it, but... It, there will be certain things that I just have to craft. And so I want all the resources. Before I know what they are, I'm going to have all the resources for it. 
Sarah, do you want in here or are you going to wait out there? Really? Okay. That's just how the game does it. Shit, she's right on top of me. Sarah, get in here. Oh, shit. Well, how did you... What? What kind of airlock is that? <laughs> Don't leave any of that behind. Come on. What kind of airlock is that? Okay, Sarah keeps closing the damn door. <laughs> yeah, get in there, girl. Get in there. There we go. This is better. Get in there. Uh, you're real tweaking out, aren't you? <laughs> the wrong day. Absolutely. I'm gonna head around this direction. That doesn't look like it went out too well for you, you know? Let's do this. Bye. Bye. Uh, six and a half. That's that's useful for me. Yeah. Take it. Uh, anything else that I might be able to have here? No. Supply shelf have anything interesting? No. Just notebooks and folders and all sorts of stuff. There's got to be something in here. 143 is good for my pistol. There's a note here on the table. It says, Attention. It's been three plus days since your last shower. Please go clean yourself. <laughs> Be considerate of your colleagues. Lay off the booze. That's funny. You're uh, paying attention to other people's showers, eh? Uh, let's go like that. I'm not seeing anything in this place, man. Nothing that matters. I, I found a cosmetic box, which I need cosmetics for you know doing uh suit modifications and stuff but it doesn't say it's a crafting supply it just says cosmetic supply box so i don't know if that actually counts i'm gonna grab it but i don't think it counts i think it actually has to say that it's a crafting supply in order for it to count so yeah and then there wasn't any really extremely difficult enemies in here usually there's like that one guy that's much stronger than the rest and uh, I didn't see that here this time, so I don't know if he's still there and I just haven't gotten to him yet, or if it's just not uh, not a thing, you know? Possible that it's just not a thing. I thought that was a safe. Oh. So far, there's like nothing really meaningful inside this building. Like, it's mostly just a waste of my time. Milk, cereal... I gotta imagine I could put milk and cereal together, right? Okay, we got some bandages. I guess I'll take those. And that's kind of... Okay, cred sticks. All right. That's that's pretty good, I guess. That's, that's not a complete waste now. I got something out of it. That's all I really needed, man. It's just something to say, hey, it was worth coming here, you know? Uh, there is a door I haven't gone through yet, so maybe we'll find some good stuff behind that. And that door is here. So let's go through this. Robotic science facility. Maybe the good stuff is in here, huh? I mean, it's got a name. Robotic science facility. Let's see what's down here. Oh, all right. Now, are they going to see me through the door? Oh, here we go. He's, they're already, they're like currently mugging that body. All right, here we go. Ready, Sarah? Let's blast him. In the head. Ah! 
Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. Nope, definitely not. Anything else? Credits in a digipick. The guy was searching the body and couldn't find the credits. Come on now. I feel I feel like he should have had the credits on him and not the not the body on the ground, but that's all right. It's fine. The, the point is that they were there anyway. Seven sevens, med packs again. Not seeing. Where's the safe? Show me where your safe is. Ah, uh, come on. This is back room. What's this? Oh, that looked very safe like to me. There's a door there. Might go through that. Nothing over here. Nothing meaningful over here. All right, let's go through this door. Another body on the ground over there. Alien pie. All right, we'll have some alien pie later. That's fine. Uh, nothing there. There's definitely people out there. They can see me through the window. And there's a whole bunch of people over there. Hello. Found you. Can they actually shoot me through this window? Oh, they're going to come out this way anyway. Come on, pirates. Come on, pirates. Come on. Dead. Oh, that's not it. Oh my God, it's freaking mine. <laughs> that's not it. That's not how we're supposed to do this. Back up. Back up. So I'm not looking for mines. I wanted grenades. <laughs> hate that there's only one at a time. It sucks. Grenade, please. Give me that mine back. Digi picks. The more digi picks, the better, man. More ammunition. 6-5. Like it. Credits. can handle it right <laughs> i got looting to do also i think this might work my way around the uh to, to flank them oh that's just a robot i was hoping to work my way around and flank them they're like right next to me oh they're probably underneath me or above no they got to be down below So there's a big bot on the floor down there, and that is what's hitting me, is that big robot that's down there. Maybe it's a pirate. No, I thought it was a, like a mech. Yeah, there's like a mech right there. Let's do this. There we go. other dude go where is he right there can't see him 
I'm right here. Come get me. Might as well loot the guy while we're here. Junk? Might as well loot the guy while we're here. Come on, move. Damn, we got people down below too. So I'll have to come in. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to flank it from this side. Peekaboo. Two enemies left. They're underneath me. They're not a threat at the moment. So I'm just going to check out the room real quick. Art plus. We could grab some of that. Some pizza squares. It's fine. Some extra alcoholic beverages. Extra credits. Circuit boards. It's a shame circuit boards are not useful in crafting. That's a little weird. And that's kind of it for this room. What about this room over here? There's a ton of rooms in here. Like, I don't know about, you know, putting the entire room into the video or anything, but at least have to have all the enemies dead, right? Zero wire is going to be good. A space shoot workbench. That's, I mean, I don't have cosmetics, so I can't do anything about it. Screwdrivers. Yeah, nothing serious. Weapon workbenches. I could maybe do something with a weapon workbench. But let's wait until the enemies are dead first, huh? Before we go modding weapons. Alright, let's see if we can find these guys. So the one over by the door to my right. Relative to my right right now. And then uh, I don't know where the other one is, but ah, there's some. Oh, that's perfect. That's my sniper rifle ammo right there. Good. A little bit of nine by what I was looking for. So definitely the one, the one pirate by the door. And I, again, there's there's two enemies. We saw two blips on the on the motion detector or whatever it is before. So we're definitely gonna wanna. Make sure we get them both. There, we got him. We got him triggered. We got him triggered now, so we'll be able to see him and take him out. Where did he go? Really? He went. He went this way. Are you working on a flank, buddy? What are you doing? That's a good. It's a smart. It's a smart idea. Don't get me wrong. That's a smart idea. This is unfortunate for you. I saw you do it. You know. I didn't see a move over there. I would have been fine. He would have had a good time right there, you know? One enemy left. And then we're ready to rock. Oh. Where are you? Hi. Okay, I believe that's the last guy. So by clearing that, we can then search the whole place, see if there's anything meaningful in here, anything cool in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, loot the place and get all the ammo and all that stuff. And I'll bring you back in if there's anything cool, okay? Okay, so I came down a staircase that was over here in this little corner. And uh, there's actually more enemies down here. So heh, we're not done. Of course they saw me before and uh, See, there's a safe here too. too jumpy. So they thought they saw me, but I didn't shoot back. I just ran away. Whoa, something's out there. Yeah, they see me now. Well, if they can see through the windows, that sucks. Can I shoot them through the windows? Is that a thing the game will let me do? Because if they can see me through the windows, then I feel like I should be able to shoot them through the windows. Fire. Key clear. That's a mech. This one's mine. I'm gonna go ahead and get away from that mech. Let it open the door. Through. Come on in. Come on. No, I can't shoot them through the window. 
So they have to come through the door. They have to come to us. Come on now. Get up. Get up. Fight like a man. He's he's down. Uh, he's not. He is not down. Nope, I'm good with those weapons. It's an extra mech. I was gonna say, like, I was a little disappointed by I'm the sure fact that there weren't we can use. there weren't very many mechs to fight, and uh, now we have more robotic enemies, and that makes me happier actually. Because, like, this is a mech factory. You would think they have plenty of mechs. There's no way to shoot through the window. All right. Or three, we have an extra pirate. Nope, maybe they're down. I think Sarah ended them. Good. <laughs> she did She did say she was gonna do that. So, I mean, you guys had fair warning very aggressively. The new 2023 version of, I will destroy you. All right, uh, did you pick? Elstrom, and what is this? Uh, 2250, sorry, 2550 on the credits plus a digi pick, chlorine and sealant. And what is this? Uh, space trucker helmet boosted oxygen supply. Yes, please. Uh, don't mind if I do. That seems great. I'm wondering if I can take mods off of, you know, take, take mods off of some things and put them on other things. That'd be a really cool thing. Like take that plus oxygen supply, move it off of that helmet and stick it on uh, a different helmet, right? Or stick it on to some other piece of gear. I think that'd be really cool if I could do that. Or like another helmet at least. Seven, seven. We're about to be encumbered. Just a little second here. Nope. Weightlifting is good. <laughs> I like weightlifting. Service elevator entrance key. Okay, we'll take that. I may not need it, but I'll take it. Three digi picks. I just picked up the fan. I don't want to do that. Can I put this down, please? Thank you. I don't need a desk fan, but thanks, though. Oh, look at that. I put it on the desk. Isn't that nice? Computer, unlock expert. Okay. We'll deal with that in a second. Uh, let's take the... Get the safe first. So the safe... Is an advanced lock. And probably want to use the advanced lock on the second or use this one on the second ring probably this one should maybe go here and then i've got one like this that can hopefully go okay in this slot okay so the fourth key in this list is going to take care of these three slots and then uh, this one over here is going to get the remainders now this one here also fits uh over here as well supposedly uh, but there's only four slots here and I've got this pick to cover those two gaps and this pick to cover those two gaps So I should be able to submit here and then have this one slot into that slot And then I've got this one lined up and then I've got this one lined up so That's unlocked and uh, Simpler times is what this is called. We'll have to grab that and maybe take a look at reading that Simpler times a lock picked that easily since I traveled with Vladimir Sol. Apparently, Vladimir Saul was a really good lock picker, I guess. Simpler Times, the foreword to a nonfiction account of life in New Homestead. Collection from residents over the years, originally published in 2324. If anyone tells you, like the title of this book, that life back in the early colonies could be described as simpler times, they're full of it. The title, thusly, is a repudiation of the idea. You see, the claims in various forms of media, brochures, and other corporatized devices that life was somehow simpler than we have it today. The portrayals in such series as the old family-friendly show Have on the Ice, for instance, paint an idealized perspective of New Homestead that couldn't be further from the truth. Life was never simple here. The people you're about to hear from, some dating back to the mid-2100s, provide a unique insider view into what it was really like on Titan. 
You'll read about their struggles in the New Frontier era, as well as more current accounts of what it's like to persevere that veneer while uh, dealing with galaxy with a galaxy that has moved on. Forward by Amalia Zagid. I think his name is that. It's an interesting name. Uh, and then we have uh, the computer and stuff as well. We're gonna have to hack into. This is a, this is an expert thing. And I don't know about hacking computers. Is this the same as hacking locks? We'll find out. It is the same. Okay, so three rings, and uh, this one doesn't slot into any of them. We can see that because of our lock picking skill. So we can go here. This one slots in all of them. Very diverse pick. We're gonna come back to that one. Uh, this one only does this side, and it looks like it hits uh, four of them. So we're gonna put that there. And if we put that there, then we'll need one that does two, which we can have this one to cover the remainder there, right? Yes. So these two could potentially go together for that inner ring. For the secondary rings, or other rings, I suppose, we can have this one only goes to the outer ring. So let's make sure we slap this one accordingly. Uh, looks like it goes here. But then I'm going to need one and three. And it looks like we have this one that can do that. So we'll just flip it over and go like that. So this one and uh, this one these two go together on the outer ring to unlock that perfect for the middle ring we're gonna need uh this one looks like because this one goes to the outer ring but it does but it also goes to the inner ring and like the other ones are already unlocked so uh we're gonna have to find a place for you to go it looks like it's on this side right there so you'll go there which means i need a, a two uh which could be located here right there I believe that's it so we've got this one on the outer side and this one and this one then we have this one unlocking and this one that's in the inner ring that's the inner ring okay so we could potentially put you here and uh we, we still need we still need the two is it isn't that this one uh oh I've messed up, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Because uh, we do have a one, all right? And a one is a very valuable. So if I have this one, then I could shift you over here. Uh, I could shift you here, yes. If I do that, then I could put you on that spot and then put you on these two. So that takes care of this one, plus that one, plus that one. Which leads me to the final row, which uh, is here and uh oh and here this one was supposed to go this one was supposed to go down here in the third ring yeah these two are supposed to be together all right maybe i can get away with that ah, all three of them here ah perfect okay so this one goes in here and then this one goes here and then you go there and you go there outstanding Robot control interface. <laughs> I could have controlled them. I could have had friends. Oh, I feel so bad. Update friend foe settings. Recalibrate friend foe settings. All right, cool. I am uh, protect the current user. Very good. <laughs> uh, activate all units. All right, all units are active. I have friends now. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't have to destroy them. Well, hey, you know, it is what it is. And I still got the experience for hacking it. So that's the important thing. Look at all those digi picks. Now I'm going to feel good about digi picking. You know, do you see, do you see the confidence Potential in digi picking now? Detected. Activating combat protocols. Uh, hello. <laughs> He's just like right in my face. Okay. You would have followed me around. So would you. Okay. All of these robots are my friends. This unit is well equipped for combat. I agree. You are. <laughs> you definitely are. Uh, what's through this door? I wonder. Is this a door? It's just an exit. No, it's not even an exit. It says it's an exit, but it's not actually an exit. So I could have had all of these robot friends fighting for me. Not maybe not the whole time. Can you guys follow me upstairs? Can you come up the ramp? 
There might be some people here. There's a locked door there. I got to get into that that lock now. That's cool. Let's play the mini game again. So this one only goes in the inner ring. And it looks like it's going to fit right there, which means we're going to need one, two, three. So potentially this one. Yep. Could go uh, like so. Is that correct? Yeah, right here and then no, that's completely wrong. Uh, this is, there's a four here. I guess we could slot that there and then I just need a three goes here. So that does take care of it. So these two on the bottom will clear the middle ring or clear the second ring. So for the first ring, we got to deal with the stuff at the top and we have these two. So I could do this one and I could do this one. So we can go one and then two, three, four. And we're in. Met components. Ah, contraband. Fun. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> uh, calibrated rattler. I mean, we're going to have to sell some things now. Look at all these cred sticks. Not bad. Yeah, over a thousand credits there just hanging out. Immobilizer, some treatment stuff. Amp, uh huh. Solvent. Exotic organic resource. Item can be used from crafting. Okay. Well, hey, this, I mean, this is just a structure. This isn't even what I came here for. This is just a structure, you guys. It's like a random thing that's just appeared on the map and I decided to go in it, right? That's all this is. Now I wish. Potential hostile detected. Activating combat protocols. Yeah, you. I wish you guys would just follow me around. Can you come out of my ship? Huh? You guys are programmed to serve me, right? So why don't you guys join me on the frontier? We'll go uh, kick some ass together, okay? Just not here. Somewhere else. Somewhere more meaningful. Somewhere less uh, already taken care of. <laughs> Somewhere that's already, you know. It's still hostile in some way. That'd be nice. Fair med pack. Don't mind if I do. Probably should use one anyway. Fill up the health bar. Uh, okay, I've cleared this location. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so when we come back for the next one, some extra credits. That's actually quite good. Uh, I'll keep looting. I'll, I'll keep seeing if there's anything else interesting in here. But uh, when we come back for the next video, we are because I have to go now we are going to continue exploring mars i'm gonna explore all the locations of mars before we proceed to venus and uh sell as much stuff as we can gather i guess some things and maybe even level ourselves up enough to possibly look at getting a better ship uh, i would like to get a better ship uh I, I see so many thumbnails of videos online about free ship take this I'm, I'm avoiding those like the plague all right, so don't tell me about you could do this or this or that. I, I don't care, all right? Don't don't spoil that stuff for me, all right? Oh, there's some cutter crates in here with nothing in it. Uh, with nothing in it. Uh-huh. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to do those, but if I discover them organically, if I discover them on my own, then sure, we'll do it. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to just like take a, a random detour with information that I shouldn't know yet. Because some YouTuber said I should. I'm not going to do that. So uh, anyway, just letting you know, because that's going to be an inevitable thing where it's like, why don't you just do this? Because you can get a free ship. I don't want to know that stuff. Okay. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time where we explore more of Mars. Bye-bye.